they don't like the idea of me also pursuing music or you know film and all these other things yeah my dream is to become a singer and an actress uh, that would be my, my dream life since I was a kid, I would always like pretend I was fainting and my mom would get really scared of me jumping on the floor and then I would tell her like <laughs> I was just acting or I'll be like crying in front of the mirror or I'll be making music at like 10, when I was 10 I was already writing music. I don't know, I felt it was always calling me. I live in Rosarito, Baja California in Mexico. It's a small town, a beach town basically. It's full of tourists all the time, like spring break is big over there. They love to party really hard. <laughs> Hi, my name is Elisa Ojeda. We're at the moment at San Diego City College. I was born and raised in Rosarita, yes. I still live over there and cross every day to work and school. I usually start like 5.30, 6.30, depending on the day. Like Wednesdays usually are my busiest day because I have to come in at 5.30 at work. So I have to wake up around like 3 in the morning and then do all this commute to work. And then from there, I come to school at 1.30. And then I end up leaving school on Wednesdays until 7.10. And I have to do all the commute back to Rosarito. People just like me cross the border every day to come to work or school or you know just to live the American dream. So many people like me also try to cross the border every day and people have to line up to cross and pass you know the security, the border patrol. It's a lot of people, <laughs> hundreds of people and they wait for long times so as in four to five hours walking or the shortest like 25 minutes. There's some people like me that have the privilege of owning a Sentry card or Global Sentry. It's a trusted traveler program that the Border Patrol has for people and that give you access to pass the line and get ahead a little bit. The longest I've done walking is about 20 minutes and usually there's no line so I just go straight to the border and cross really quickly. And if I go by car with the Sentry is usually the shortest five minutes and then the longest I've done is 40 minutes when in car in the regular ready lane or normal car line it's usually about the longest I've done there is like seven hours and the shortest is an hour <laughs> and that's really lucky <laughs> so also because of my parents are very Mexican <laughs> uh, they don't believe in art they don't believe in that this space you know they don't believe I can survive out of it so right now I'm just trying to give it a shot and they don't know about it <laughs> so I don't know what what my major is gonna be yet because I'm still deciding if I want to do it for reals or if I want to do something else that they can approve I don't know it's really hard for me to because I love them I really I really care and I know they, their intentions are good <laughs> behind their opinions but for me right now it's just I'm exploring it I could really see myself doing it what is it? it? I would like to be a singer, actress, and maybe a, a director too. So you're, you're an artist? Yes, very much. I met my girlfriend in 2019. We're already five years together. <laughs> We're Mexican, so it was really, really hard for them to see me as my real self, I guess. Yeah. We were watching this. It was like a video of somebody talking about this Marvel movie but they mentioned like oh this character is gonna be gay or it's gonna be like from the community and my parents will start commenting about it like oh they want these people everywhere like all these homophobic comments and at this at that moment in time I was barely starting to get to know my girlfriend you know also like experiencing what that also meant for me so I was just thinking about all these things if I wanted to you know, take a more, more serious my relationship, if it was like that serious for me to come out to my parents. And at the moment, it just felt like a lot of things coming into my head. And I just say it like, what if it was me? What if it was me? And my dad it would just tell me like, well, I would still accept you, but I wouldn't post it on the news. Like, why do you have to make it that public? And I was like, why well, am and he just, <laughs> like, his face went blank. Like, 
he couldn't believe himself and then I heard my mom crying in the back and I, and I just look and I was like it's okay mom and she was just asking me like what did I do wrong what did I do wrong it was very emotional very hard and my my dad couldn't still believe it he was like is this a joke are you joking with me so it was kind of <laughs> very emotional moment for me and my mom is also very religious <laughs> So that also added more friction to the topic. And then as time goes by, um, my mom started meeting my girlfriend and it took her a really long, long time to feel comfortable with it. And it started from saying your friend to now her name and then and then saying like your partner. <laughs> so still kind of hard I feel, but I see them more accepting of it at least in front of me, and I'm okay with that. I know they, they're they older and they have their own ideas and I, I respect that too. Mm, I felt that for me was more accepting myself first. Because that's really hard too. So for me, it wasn't, I wasn't waiting for me to tell them. It was more I was waiting for me to accept who I am and then just tell them. <laughs> Why, why is school so important? Why bad? I guess it's the motivation of trying to be better, you know? Better yourself and support your family, especially because my family doesn't have the privilege uh, to be crossing the border <laughs> for a better life. So I feel for me, it's just to... I love learning, so besides having the education, for me, it's also motivation from my family to, you know, help and get better.